Well, I think in learning art history for me, there was always a fine line between something that was a fine art uh, piece or something that was commercially available, and that was called commercial art when I was in school. And so I was kind of confused about the two until I learned about Andy Warhol, and I think at that point I thought, you can be a fine artist and a commercial artist and blur those lines and come back and forth. And I think it's a challenge, but uh, it can be approached in a way to where it's accessible to everybody. And I would rather have artwork that's seen you know, in a skate shop and also in a gallery and in a museum. To me, that's uh, creating the biggest audience I can is, is really what I want to do. So it, that's a lot of opportunity instead of just seeing it as fine art or commercial art. workshop I want to see some development from the participants from when they come in. I want them to learn a little bit about the history of the skateboard graphic and I want them to take what they already know about art and apply it to the skateboard. So there's some constraints in terms of the shape of the board and I want them to see that as an advantage to work with that shape instead of to see the limitations of it. So by the time they leave I want them to, to look at it with different eyes possibly to see the skateboard graphic as more of a work of art and less of a product. So whether it's in a skate shop or a museum, I want them to have that history to put it into perspective.